What's up, guys? My name's Ariana. And I'm Maple. And today we are watching Little Miss Sunshine. And we're kind of doing it the way we did Harry Potter, where I have never seen it. This is a comfort movie for me. So I love this film, but I haven't actually watched it in a few years. Right. It'll be kind of a good refresh. I mean, I think I remember majority of the points, but I used to watch this a lot in high school. Yeah, I'm excited to be here with you as you go um, forth on your journey was through like, Little Miss Sunshine. I was like, on my journey and adventure. Yeah. So let's hop into it. All right, let's go. Uh, is this like Abigail Brenner's first? Yeah. Okay. The winner of a $30,000 scholarship, Miss Louisiana Erica Schwartz, and the new... <laughs> there are two kinds of people in this world winners and losers inside each and every one of you is a winner waiting to be awakened <laughs> my nine Sorry. step refuse to lose program <laughs> you now have thank you oh look at look at that belt clip for the cell phone <laughs> the little flip phone Oh, oh, I thought that was going to be a class. much la larger auditorium. <laughs> I know it, it seems like it would be like. Yeah. Like, like, he was like those are the college days. ones where you speak like up mm -hmm. into a crowd. Mm -hmm. And then wasn't he just the. Maybe. I don't know. I think and he looks like Batman. the Lorax. <laughs> Not the Lorax, but the guy in the Lorax. Animated? The kid who makes the schneeds or whatever they're called. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm excited. There's actually quite a bit I do yeah. not remember from this movie. Oh, demonetization. Uh, yeah. Here we go. I guess we're going to cut that. We're definitely going to cut that. <laughs> Just blur it out. You know, as an He's adult on watching the this. Younger side. <laughs> <laughs> as an adult watching this, I feel like this will be a, a different experience for me, too. Richard, he has nowhere else to no, go. No, and Tony. There's big names in this. I'm not smoking. I'm telling you right now, if you just inhaled that on the phone, he knows you're smoking. <laughs> Steve Carell, what? <laughs> I didn't even know all these people were in this. I'm so glad you're still here. That makes fun of us. Dwayne, hi, Uncle Frank's here. I got along fine. <laughs> He's really a bitter quiet. Betty. <laughs> you're caught. I think me and him have the same outfit on right now. I'm gonna start dinner. <laughs> exactly what I meant. And uh, just leave the door open. Wait, dinner? Why, you don't talk anymore? Why not? Protest. You can talk, you just choose not to. Huh. Is that Nietzsche? You don't speak because of Friedrich Nietzsche. Oh, the teenager angst. Far out. Far out. I just <laughs> totally forgot that that was a thing that he's totally not talking. Get Olive. Olive? Yeah. There's a whole lot of lack of eye contact. It's so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> you taking a vow of silence? He's going to join the Air Force Academy, become a test pilot, and he's taking a vow of silence until he reaches that goal. You're kidding. What happened to your arms? Olive? Oh, that's all right. I had a little accident. I'm okay. Now. How's the uh, routine coming, honey? It's up to Grandpa. A couple of days. Still needs work. Yo, he's just railing lies chicken? and then going <laughs> and then hanging out with the chicken. Holy God almighty. Is it possible just once Dad? we could get something to eat for dinner around here that's not the God hey. chicken? Hey, Dad. I'm just saying. Dad. Christ. Well, Sunset Manor, you know. Like yeah. Sunset Manor so much, you shouldn't have got yourself kicked out of this. Yeah, again, uh, that totally hits different now that I'm an adult. <laughs> Nursing or assisted living <laughs> facility. <laughs> like. For nine months, Frank. End of the word. Not one. Wow. Nine months. I think it shows tremendous discipline. Richard? I really do. Really, I think we could learn something from Dwayne. So Dwayne he's going to talk just out of spite. He has a dream. Focus. In fact, I was thinking about the nine steps and oh, how he ran a lot the nine <laughs> steps and how Dwayne's utilizing at least seven of them in his personal quest to self fulfillment. Richard, please. Well, just saying, come around. How did it happen? Olive, um, <clears throat> Uncle Frank didn't really have an accident. What happened was he <laughs> tried to kill himself. You did? Why? Uh, 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 
I, I'm sorry. I don't think this is an appropriate conversation. Honey, let's let Uncle Frank finish his dinner, okay? Shh. I think that's a reasonable question. I wanted to kill myself to because I was He's very sick. unhappy. He's a sick man. He's a sick in his head. Richard, See, no, sorry, you're making it so much worse. We're a seven year old. Well, she's gonna find out anyway. Okay. By saying he's a sick man makes. I fell in love with someone who didn't love me back. Hmm. Woof. One of my grad students. I was very much in love with him. You fell in love with the boy? Yes, I did. Very much so. The boy that I was in love with fell in love with another man, Larry Sugarman. Larry Sugarman is perhaps the second most highly regarded proof scholar in the U.S. Woof. Who's no one? <laughs> that would be me, Rich. <laughs> so, that's one. No. Olive, the important thing oh. to understand here is that Uncle Frank gave up on himself. He made a series of foolish choices. Are you I'm loving sorry. the nine himself, Which is something that winners never do. It's just it, that it's whole, story. like... Okay, now everyone just... Let's move on. Everyone has the right to parent their children whichever way they would like to parent them. How can you stop? But leaning into high achievement while saying you just gotta work hard isn't how life works and it gets under my freaking skin. Everyone in Albuquerque. She made it to the top of the regionals out there. I was in second place. Yeah, well, good luck. No. What about luck, Frank? Luck is the name losers give to their own failings. It's about wanting to win. Willing yourself to win, you gotta want it better than anybody else. I do. The, some of the dynamics, I was not remembering, so I'm feeling it with you right now. I want to punch him in the throat. There is a message She's seven. The he could. About little Mrs. Sunshine. She can't learn about depression, but you're gonna shove what? that ideology down her throat. Sunshine. Yeah. What? Girls who want had to forfeit her crown. I don't know why something about diet pills, but anyway, now she's six to seven year olds on diet pills. Dinner. What oh, that's adorable, though. Cindy! Yeah, we just got it. You promise fly out and come back Monday. And, and, and how are you gonna get around out there? <sighs> we'll rent a car. And uh, stay at a hotel? We'll fly there. We can't afford it. Well, that's what we're gonna do, unless you have a better idea. Here, this is dessert. Oh my god. Okay, so that he... was so fast. Oh, and she's so so excited. I know he's all about his nine steps, but his kids winning and winning. All right, I'll drive the bus. Richard, go then, unless Dwayne and Frank go. Oh, with us. all these people about to be in a van. Right. To somewhere where they were gonna think where they were gonna fly. Oh okay. yes, and insanity ensues. Dwayne. I will give you permission for flight school. That's damn. I'm not going to have any fun. Yeah, we're all with you on that one, Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> we're all coming, honey. Hey, there's no sense in entering a contest if you don't think you're going to win. Also, bro, not a good message to nail home. <laughs> like, yeah, I forgot how much he just like. Yes. He sucks. Sucks. He sucks so bad. California sucks a big <laughs> fat egg. That's why he's only got five people in his class. Yeah, and nobody wants to publish his book. I guess I don't know. Nice point. Because it's not actually motivational. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I know none of the spiel he gave was motivational. I'm remembering about uh, I'm remembering as much of him as much of as we've seen so far. So I just want to repress him. You probably repress him. You're like, oh, that sounds bad. Oh, not no. on your watch. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> you, Dwayne. Coming from you, that means a lot. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I remember the van and like the previews and stuff. If some girl came up to me, begged me to f I couldn't do it. Dad? That's how tired I am. Uh, watch the language, huh? Dwayne, that's your name, right? F a lot of women, Dwayne. <laughs> Not just one woman. Dad. Um, the young stuff hey. is the best stuff in the whole world. Hey, Dad, that's enough. Ew. Don't interrupt me, Richard. <laughs> See, right now, your jailbait, their jailbait. It's perfect. I mean, you hit 18. Man, you're talking about three to five. Hey, I will pull this truck over right now. So I'll pull the truck over. You're not going to shut me up. Ooh, Yo, I can say what I want. The family the dynamic. Ah, the Nazi <laughs> Your status is at Sunset Manor. 
What are you guys talking about? Politics. <laughs> oh. You heard what I said? <laughs> Did it go in anywhere? Yeah, I think we get the point, Dad. And you. I, I'm sorry. I, um, sorry. Take your time. Don't apologize, Olive. It's a sign of weakness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want a question. What does alamodi mean? Oh, that means it comes with ice cream. Okay, alamodi. Olive for breakfast. Actually, Olive, alamode uh, in French. Frank, shut up. Sure. What? Olive, can oh I tell you a little something about ice cream? Well, ice cream is made from cream. Cream has a lot of fat in it. What's your... What? She's gonna find out anyway, Remember? Okay, he's what? literally the what? absolute oh. worst. When you eat ice cream, the fat like, in the ice cream... Bro, you can, she can't hear about suicide, but you're gonna basically tell a six or seven-year-old that she may... Fat, and if you don't, you're gonna stay nice and skinny, sweetie. Olive, Richard is an idiot. I like a woman with meat on her bones. Why is everyone so upset? No, no one's upset, honey. I... Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, I'm learning something about myself today that... Why was this my comfort? You want, it's okay. I'm so stressed. Okay. We're gonna have to unpack some things, I guess, about myself at the end of this. <laughs> Those women in Miss America, are they skinny or... Yo, this is such a commentary on, like, what it... Because when did this come out? Guess they don't eat a lot of ice cream. Okay. Coffee? Or you suck and you're oh, thriving on depression. And here's your ice cream. That you won't admit. Alamodi, right? Does anyone want my ice cream? Yeah, I like a little. Dwayne? Frank? Boy, I feel sorry for anybody that doesn't want to enjoy their ice cream so early in the morning. Well, that was good. Uh, you sure you don't want to have some, Olive? Wait! Mm. Stop! Don't eat it all. All right, Olive. Richard. Maybe he gets just desserts at the end, and that's why you like it. Hey, did you get it? I don't remember. I can't get a signal out. When I originally would watch this movie, I just really adored Olive Olive. Obviously, she's adorable. Right. 600 miles of driving today and 200 tomorrow. But now that I'm watching it again, I'm realizing that uh, the function feels a lot like components of my family. Ah. Uh, Push Ooh. Down Ooh. Hard. I'm pushing hard. That sounds bad. Oh. Okay, there you go. Now, four. What is she doing? Tearing that transmission up. <laughs> it's probably just stuck. Oh. Oh, it's hard. not just. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sounds good. That's all bad. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, you, you know these, these old buses? You don't need the clutch to, to change from, uh, from the third to the fourth. But as long as you keep parking on a hill and it goes 15, 20 miles per hour, you start it on third and then you go from third to fourth. <laughs> Dad, I want oh, you in the car Okay, first. so this is probably what the... Yeah, okay, yeah, yep, right, yep. It is. Yeah, they are running. I was like, I don't remember if they're just I'm getting into the push. van, but it is, it's them behind All it right. pushing. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on, honey. I'm putting it in gear. No, honey. Come on. Oh, look at her. No legs. <laughs> You're losing them. Oh. Also, I feel like they're not running fast enough. <laughs> like, use some arms. Like, I get that you're a scholar and stuff, but I would assume you'd slightly. <laughs> Outstanding, soldier. Outstanding. Just get a little Sarah. A little dopamine boost when you got some exercise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is the guy who knows how to do it, you know? You start with a book, and then you do a media tour, DVD, VHS series. I mean, there's a whole fascinating science into how you roll these things out. Wow. Yeah, so he's in Scottsdale right now, <laughs> you know, building the buzz. <laughs> oh, how about that? Yeah, and I, I can detect that, that note of sarcasm there, Frank. Okay. But I want you to know something. It sounded like active listening to me. I feel sorry for you. Oh, go. Good. I Sarcasm is losers trying to bring winners down to their level, and that's step four in the program. Wow, Richard, you really opened my eyes to what a loser I am. Stop it! Laugh it up. He started it. That's <laughs> hey, hey, why? This is it. This is that call. Uh, hello? Stan? But how'd we do? <laughs> Honey, I'm gonna use the ladies' room. You need to go? 
No. Well, yeah. Give me some porn. <laughs> Give me something really nasty, too. I don't want any airbrush. Um, that one. Oh my yes. God, they just that have one. it at the gas station. And, and I, like I feel like that one, no it's a different time. They did, though. Like, yes. but it was like yes. pretty much hidden, like, and they would have to like ID you. Like, it would be, see how that one's Wouldn't in there plastic? Be covers back there? over it? Yeah. I was looking for you. Uh, are you supposed to be in New Haven? Yeah. Well, I mean, you heard about Larry and the whole genius thing, right? Yeah. It's official. No. Larry's here? Yeah. Oh. He's, he's out filling the tank. He's oh. so. I can't believe this. How have you been? I've been fine. You know, that I heard sucks. that you got fired. You know, taking some time off and so great. <laughs> That's the great. Magazine's really nice. 1979, sir. So. <laughs> well, it was great to see you yeah, again. Yeah, you too. Just turn around and pay. Take Just turn around and pay. Too. Bye. I know, but he's trying to hide his. <laughs> I know, but it's, he didn't do a great job. I know. Hey. The guy even looks pretentious. I forgot your slushy. Okay, I, I can come by. No, you can't. I'm gonna be coming through there. I could swing right by. We could... Christ, he's not getting it. <laughs> what are the what odds? Happened? Nothing. Very yeah. poor timing. Oh my God, where does that leave us? It's where it leaves us. Let's just go, okay? Let's. Where's your child? Oh, it Let's looks could kill. Go. Talk to me like that again. I don't condone violence, but no, but I mean, like if they left him on the side of the road. I wouldn't think it was the worst thing in the world. Well, but he's like she said at the beginning, mm -hmm. like she's a the she main like, earner. Yeah, she's like what the, everything she does has to go into his nine steps, and that brings like is she in nothing. the car. She is not in the car, dude. Are we not noticing that she's not in the car? <laughs> Where's Olive? Oh. My parents left me at a gas station when I was six or seven. I got her. I got her. <laughs> Could you imagine if you just saw someone like not slowing down and just grabbing a child and put it in their van and driving off? But the cops would definitely get called on that. She's so sweet though. She's just standing there waiting. Just hanging out. Just hanging out we'll waiting. Be back. You took a big chance. Took guts, and I'm proud of you. Okay, Dad. Thank you. That's really nice. No, that's why. That's where I'm confused because I was like assuming that's why he had this such like a person. Why he was like really dropping home, being a winner was like dad kind of let him down or didn't like say he was private. But that felt like very like free flowing from him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like not like that's not the first time he's told his son he's proud of him. Yeah. So where does this internal desire come from? I wish I could tell you. I'm probably high school. I have bullying. apparently blocked him out as a character. I do not remember. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he read the secret and was like, Oh, I can do that. And that's what <laughs> this is where we got. <laughs> I never want to hear about the nine steps again. Perfect. Perfect. You're the world champion growler. Time for your beauty rest. Get in there. Good night. Grandpa? Yeah. I'm kind of scared about tomorrow. Are you kidding Aww. me? You're going to blow them out of the water. They're not going to know what hit them. Heck yeah. Grandpa? Yeah. Am I pretty? Olive, you are. The most beautiful girl in the whole world. Yeah, you're just saying that. No, I'm not. I'm madly in love with you. And it's not because of your brains or your personality. It's <laughs> because you're beautiful. Inside and out. <laughs> Grandpa, I don't want to be a loser. You're not a loser. Oh. Why'd you get that You're a loser. Because Dad hates losers. Exactly. Oh, oh, Sorry. Oh, oh. Back exactly up. What you don't you say know what a loser is? A real loser is somebody that's so afraid of not winning, they don't even try. Exactly. Now you're trying, right? Oh, no. You're not a loser. We're going to have fun tomorrow, right? Yeah. We can tell them all to go to hell. Good night, sweetie. I love you. Oh, I can't. Oh, I have to go find that. <laughs> I know, it's like it. <laughs> 
But that's like exactly why you don't like. You have to really do be that to like your kids. Yeah, like language really matters, and things like like and kids see everything, whether you think they're old enough to understand or not, they are. Well, and your per- their perception of the yeah. world is only as far as yours is. Yeah. Like so. Fix this. Daddy hates losers. Oh fix God. this. I hope they leave. I hope that like he doesn't get back in time, and they just leave without him, and then he gets home and he has no home. Is that too extreme of a wish? Sorry, I can't gauge how angry I'm supposed to be right now because I'm very angry at this man. I mean, I don't remember, but he he sucks. And you can't go anywhere without help. No, well, those kids may. I wonder if he's going to steal a moped because that would be a great visual. <laughs> You're on a scooter. Is it like a little electric bike? Mm-hmm. That thing's actually pretty cool. I would love one of those. No. I know that's tough. So I guess I would assume that it is. Does he have like multiple vials? Like he like does one in the morning, one at night. I don't know. It's kind of like showing everyone's vices she's smoking in cigarette he's doing the drugs he's in love with the younger man and he's obsessed with winning so i said you want to do about life experiences you sit down you can write a book about my experiences well so he says to me You're the one that said it would sell. But that's what I thought at the time. But it's a great program. You, you said so yourself. I mean, I, I don't understand. It's not the program, Richard. It's you. Okay? No one's heard of you. Nobody cares. Mm-hmm. What, what's the next step? There is no next step. There is none. You, you, you mean give up? I will. It's time to move on. You're not going to win this one. Good. I'm glad. You know why? Because this is what the nine steps are all about. You blew it, you're out. (laughs) Oh, God. Um, Grandpa won't wake up. (gasps) Want to take an eye test? Uncle Frank, an eye test? Whatever happens. But I love you guys so, so much. I'm sorry. We did everything we could. He was, uh, that was too much. I'll have someone come talk to you about handling the remains. Linda! I'm your bereavement liaison, Linda. She's LAPD in theory. That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the worst timing for her to yeah. come in. Okay, these are the forms you need to fill out. A report God. of death. Ah. Uh. An M.E. Pink's. If the body is crossing state lines, you're going to need a burial transit permit from the county registrar's office. Okay, but we're trying to get to Redondo Beach by three o'clock. Three o'clock today. Hmm. Ain't gonna happen. We might be able to view the remains. No. No. We've come 700 miles. We're not going to leave him. Let's do it. It's because he has a redeeming arc. Watch the curtain. It's giving He's manic a little bit. It, oh, it's de- yeah, it's giving it's giving grief. Um, but oh, yo, this like is really like close. not even. Yeah, this is like not a. This is not the window to throw a body out of, though. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, he's slipping. Oh my god. Go. No, they just. Took a body, a dead body out the window. <laughs> no. Okay, go. Be cool. 
So y'all are about to just hang out in the car with that? <laughs> right? Like, it's like... And we don't even know how long he's been dead. He probably... It's it's probably pushing, like, you know, 12 hours. It, it will start to smell. Yeah. I don't... Decomp is not... Decomp is... It's yeah. not for the faint of heart. Yeah, right? Do you think there's a heaven? Well, I think there is one. You think I'll get in? Yes. You promise? Yes. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Son of a bitch! What happened? He, he cut me off! No! <laughs> hey, just leave it. Stuck or something. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Oh, Jesus. God. Everybody just pretend to be normal, okay? Like, like everything's normal here. A little trouble with the horn? What? A little trouble with your horn? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's also Hank. A little trouble. Oh, my God. It is Hank, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell? Sorry. Could you step outside the vehicle? It's like a sad fart. It's just like the worst thing to be <laughs> happening in this situation. You have something in your trunk, sir? It's nothing. I don't. Yeah. It's not illegal. Sir, I would advise you to keep your mouth shut. God. Nudie mags. So I could come back here? Oh, I love this stuff. I love it. <laughs> God bless you. Oh God, God bless you. Hank's character would. Two. Bless you. <laughs> it's your family. It's nice. Thank you. Oh, sweet, sweet. I'm so sweet, uncomfortable. Sweet. <laughs> the eyes will look. And this one is one of my favorite. It's a different one. Choice. God, and loaded. I can't. <laughs> so leave that one here. Right. <laughs> now, and now that we're both uncomfortable, can we get this moving along? I, I. I do not remember. That's so funny that the magazines like are enough. <laughs> oh my god, the horn! Tell you when I regain consciousness. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh! There it is, Redondo Beach, forty-six. What's the letter in the circle? Right he's about to like crush his dreams because he's colorblind. It's an A. Bright green. This trip is just really sucking things out of. Dwayne, I think you might be colorblind. You can't fly jets if you're colorblind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we found a little bit of. Got, okay, got an emergency back here. I think we just need to. What is it? Man. Go on. He's colorblind. He can't fly. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, just, just, just give me a second. <laughs> Dwayne, honey, I'm sorry. Wayne, for better or worse, we're your family. No, you're not my family. Okay, I don't want to be your family. I hate you fucking people. You fucking losers, you losers. Okay. Good shot, though. Let's go. I apologize for the things I said. I was upset, and I didn't really mean them. It's okay, come on. Go. 255. All right, everybody look for the X. Porn, bro. <laughs> it just keeps going. There, there's the hotel. There it is. There it is. I can't slow down. I can't. Oh, bye. What time is it, Frank? 
no idea how any of them are getting home, but oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Going ahead to register. There we go. There's some arm movement. You move faster if you have some. Hello? Hi, we'd like to register. Oh, sorry, we're closed. Uh, well, it's three o'clock now. No. Oh, come on, have a heart. We're four minutes late. We just drove all the way from Albuquerque. Then you should have been here by three. You don't know what we've been through. Um, Miss Jenkins, I, I can put them in the system. Well, it's your time. Excuse me. Thank you, Herbie. Thank you very much. Jeez, really, you don't know what this means. Boy, is it so much. Also, <laughs> if there is any time in the world to year. be... Oh, crazy. These people are crazy. For sure. So, what's your name? Like... Look, it's really her. You want to go say hi? Hi, what's your name? Olive. It's California. Do you need ice cream? I love ice cream. My favorite flavor is chocolate cherry Garcia. Although, technically, I think that's a frozen yogurt. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you. She eats ice cream. I heard. Packet has chickens in it. And... There's so many layers to it. Like, I'm back to being angry again. Yeah. Is there a funeral home around here? <laughs> I'm going to just spit on myself because I just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have to figure that out. Here. Uh, I have so many feelings right now. Let's get out of here. Work it. Own it. I also find it's very scary. I don't. Yeah, I feel some type of way about little kids and pageants anyway. But you like need to have the experience. So it's like a catch twenty two a little bit if they're gonna do them. Yeah, because like if you're gonna get older, like yeah. if you're gonna age into it, like exactly. other sports or yeah. <laughs> Girl, because his name might be like, oh, what the hell. You know, Marcel Proust? He's the guy you teach. He looks back and decides that all those years he suffered, those were the best years of his life. Because they made him who he was. All the years he was happy, you know, so all waste. Yes. So, if you sleep until you're 18, oh, think of the suffering you're gonna miss. I mean, high school? High school, those are your prime suffering years. You don't Ain't get that the suffering truth. than that. <laughs> beauty contests. Life is one fucking beauty contest after another. If I want to fly, I'll find a way to fly. You, know, you do what you love and f the rest. You're not nearly as stupid as you look. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Talent. The, the talent, talent competition. competition. I'm very intrigued about the... the um, not sure if I would just jump yeah, grandpa's... Being the one to basically be her coach for this is all <laughs> without reviewing it. Like, she didn't even know that was her costume. You know what I mean? Olive Hoover! I'd like to dedicate this to my grandpa who showed me these moves. Oh, that is so sweet. I feel like it's not going to be sweet. <laughs> is he here? Where's your grandpa right now? In the trunk of our car. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, take it away. Oh, she's weird. <laughs> Poor girl. In the trunk of our car. Yep. She's a very kinky girl. Oh, no. Oh, no. I do the <laughs> what is your daughter doing? She's kicking ass. Oh, um, no, that was the growl. That's yeah. <laughs> I love it. Don't touch her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So 
<laughs> no. I think the cops involved. This is just so ridiculous. Like you said, like the productive value is just like they're taking themselves too seriously. Okay. You're out on the condition that you never enter your daughter <laughs> in a beauty pageant in the state of California ever again. Ever. <laughs> I think we can live with that. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So in context of this movie, this song is called The Winner Is. Ah. And I don't know, I just love the the music in this movie. Oh, he's about to hit. Bye. You probably didn't remember the dad being a jerk face because he had a, such a redemption arc at the end. Yeah, that might be what it is, right? I know, I was like, I don't remember him like being that way, but... I guess my only question would be, do you like to cry in all of your comfort movies? <laughs> I do. I love to be sobbing by the end. <laughs> I have one like that. Like, I feel like everyone has, like, that one movie they watch. Like, you know what? I'm feeling sad. I want to, like, grab a good cry. No, I think all of mine are like that. But yeah, like, if I'm going to sit down and watch a movie, then it's because I need to feel something. I'm like that with music. I get what you're saying. Like, if a, yeah. if a song's not speaking to me, I can't just listen to music. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. listen to a podcast. Like, I, if I am going to, like, out of the yeah. movies that I have seen, I feel like this is this is great. This movie's fantastic. Yeah. I've, yeah. yeah, I just feel like I have that same thing with music, with yeah music. But that's also because I have a terrible attention span. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I want to so sit down. So I'm gonna sit down like and watch uh, an hour it, or about. two and just sob. That's fair. Um, no, it was really good. Um, I definitely all the themes were great. I love that. Like by the end, it's like I'm gonna get to do it. I just. Why did everybody have to have a sad realization on this trip? Though? I know everybody's I mean, really going through it. Really going through it, like putting them all through it, and like, well, I mean, like starting with the sad and ending with and ending with you know, grandpa dying. No, <laughs> no flight school. No flight school. Finding out and not knowing either. Finding <laughs> out, so, like the guy. Um, what was his name? Crap. What's the main character's name? The dad. What's his name? Oh, I don't know. The last name's Hoover. 2006. Oh, okay. So before Mean Girls. Was it before Mean Girls? I don't I don't know years anymore. Um, but anyway, but like he, you know, he doesn't get the book deal. Basically gets told he's a loser. So I guess everyone in their own way like comes into their own loser dumb, but then yeah. so like, Dwayne is happy is at the kid. end. Dwayne's a dick. Richard is Richard the is the name. Oh. Like Dick. How oh, how interesting. Um, that that's a nickname for people with the name Richard. Let's see what year the movie is set in. Early two thousand. Yeah. So it yeah. could. It, it, so maybe maybe even considerably earlier than two thousand six when this movie's released, right? Right. Like you're thinking like, um, like I could see this being like right at two thousand or two thousand two well, at the least. Thing. It's like all those themes they were very present too. Like it was very much like we just talked about it. Like that picture of Jessica Simpson that was circulating so hard about oh, like yeah being large. Like it really was. Like and it it was a really gross well, the ice thing. cream talk. The, just and... the, even that your dad her dad felt comfortable saying that out loud. It's just such a sign of the times. You know what I mean? Like well, obviously it's a com commentary on that's not a great thing to tell your child. Yeah. No, or and that mentioned, but that's why I was saying like I think when we're talking about like a comfort movie for myself mm -hmm. like i and now watching this back as an, an adult now like i was saying my most memorable character is olive and i think it's oh, because yeah. i related to her the most from when i was younger because i always felt like i was just kind of like goofy and awkward and mm -hmm. hadn't really like come into myself and then i have all these dysfunctional people around me mm -hmm. and then i also have people present speaking to me the way that her dad is mm -hmm. about certain things because i i would have been like olive you know it's like i'm i at some point would have felt comfortable expressing myself 
but only to a certain degree and because of confidence that maybe one person I have in my yeah. life that's putting yeah. that into me. Aww. You know what I mean? So and and then her being like, oh, like, you know, like, do you like ice cream? So like all those things just like hit like. Oh, yeah. No, a, it was a piece of me. <laughs> no, it was relatable on the sub. Because, like on that yeah. level which is like no it's like i think it's relatable in a lot of different ways like just because you know families are a little bit dysfunctional all the time and yeah it's but just, i mean yeah. like i don't know like i was a little eight-year-old girl like standing in target and my stepmom's like looking at me and it, like i like want to be a model or like do whatever mm-hmm. when i was little because i love taking pictures and mm-hmm. photography and stuff and she's like well how do you expect to do that you know like if your stomach's hanging over your pants and uh, I'm yeah. literally like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'm all in that oh, instance. Yeah. And so, like, watching this movie back, it's like, she comes out the other side with, like, her family, like, coming around mm-hmm. and, like, supporting her. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like, despite it. And I think like, they all kind of get into this, you know what, like, fuck it attitude. And I just, like, really, like, I don't know. Yeah, I just love it's this It's like movie. you can go out and be yourself and hopefully the ones that matter accept you. Yeah, exactly. And it's a little cute stuff. And I just, like, I just have been shaped like a 14 year old boy for most of my life so like weight was never an issue but it was always like oh like you have a lot of hair because i had a lot of hair and it was very unmanaged because my mom had straight hair (laughs) head straight no she blew her hair straight it's fine and then i have like super curly hair that no one knew how to do so yeah like there's other things it's like oh you get to go be a little weirdo be yourself and go in those things but like i can remember like hearing people's parents like talk to like say that kind of stuff and just being like that's nasty yeah. like you know i mean not gonna say anything because it's no not, and not I my think, place I i'm think, a kid and i don't want to fight somebody's parents and definitely yeah. would never even spoken up ever i did not no, talk i definitely think there were some adults in my life that yeah. were a victim of the 90s and, oh yeah and early 2000s and that's like the in their thing. view yeah on what what the standard of what you're supposed to look like mm-hmm. would be considered right like and it's, I, I i could i could dump yucky. on that whole thing but, yucky. yeah but it, it's unhinged it's like unhinged. you were unhinged and that's why like i didn't when i watched hannibal mm-hmm. recently and oh, they're silence like of the lambs yeah oh, silence yeah, of the lambs yeah, yes about... excuse me yeah and and like size 14 is big like i'm like it's the standard size like you guys are like it, it's unhinged like to even be like again like you said yeah. the photo of of what's her name jessica, jessica simpson. simpson and yeah. people being like that was everywhere she's huge. it's like are you guys she, unwell and also all the people that are saying well, it was that like, even when jennifer lawrence came up it was like she yeah. was like on the bigger size but you I have to understand like, like vanity sizes and stuff too that shit was so crazy like you'd go try on a pair of pants in like i don't know target right so you go and try on a pair of pants at target you go try on that same pair of pants in hollister abercrombie big sizes not a chance that you're fit it's not the same size no absolutely not i was like a three in hollister and um abercrombie and then i went to buy like work shorts like khakis and i put on a three and they literally fell to the ground yeah because the sizing is just like not because the three at target was probably the accurate size like the waist size like a 27 20 yeah. you know what i mean 28 and then the, it was just they just it didn't matter size like you could not find the same size anywhere yeah a size in hollister was not the same size in american eagle even though they are both so small stores yeah. it was wild yeah so and it does and it's gonna give you a complex and the fit down into it so yeah again though so but, but it's 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 like it's like the oop. very environment that could be breaking yeah. all of down uh, like i feel like her dad also was... kind of like helped her because she was able to talk to like her idol in essence and be yeah. like oh do you and like do you eat ice cream and then she's like learning yeah. things you know and like things are okay and it's in and like her mom her i think her mom was very right like you just like all of needs to be allowed to just be yeah exactly olive. and then i think it, you kind of see it like uh like the i guess the loser mentality or whatever like her dad like if you're going to say those things you know what i mean to your kid and then she turned and like the fact that she had to go ask her i'm like am i a loser like my dad like that's not a fear they should have and like kids can see like how you treat yourself and how you treat people around you and that's like what they see so if you talk negatively negatively or you have a bad relationship with these certain things the kid in return is going to you know just subconsciously subconsciously to a certain extent inherit all of your biases until they unlearn it or more educated type of thing so i think 
you know, her then hearing like him be like, you're a loser because of bankruptcy. You're a loser because of suicide. You're a loser because of divorce. And then she like just goes and hug him. He's like, okay. You know what I mean? And I think just what goes unspoken between them two. Yes, exactly. It's just like when they go back up the hill, it's just really nice too. Because he's like, you know, I don't mean you. You know, basically. Um, yeah. Like and all of is the redeeming quality of this Exactly. Family. Exactly. Yeah. And like, you're the little... Little, you know, and honestly, yeah, her ray of sunshine in her, there. Her brother, Dwayne's really like, there's nothing wrong with him either. Mm-mm. And like, I think he's just a 15 year old boy, yeah. <laughs> well, and like, I think he's right. Like, his family, the way that they're acting this sucks, function. like, they suck, they all suck, like, you guys suck. Like, I yeah. and I, but it is, it, but it's his family, you know, and, yeah. and he's 15, and like, that's a that's a really hard line to draw. And I think he had his safety net of an idea of something that he was going to do and move into, regardless well, of the opinions around him. And obviously that not working out, you know, but so but but he's still it's still his family. So. Yeah. And it's also really interesting, too, because they're all actually really high. Um, like. What they all want to break into, for the most part, is actually a really like it's along the same lines of all of dream to be a beauty queen, too, because like. Oh, you want to get published as like a self-help guru? What? But you, you, you haven't succeeded. So how are these nine steps going to work? Like you didn't sell the book. Like, yeah, you have a theory, but you can't prove that. That's why he's like, yeah. he's like, you're nobody. If you had the backing, if you were a millionaire or you did this or you came from nothing to something, you could probably sell that a little bit easier seeing as yeah. you're working these steps and you can't even get your book published. So that's not exactly <laughs> going to work. And then with, um, you know, with. Uh, becoming a pilot becoming a pilot it, no air that's force like academy is that's hard. Like hard that's like huge goal with him wanting to be the number one scholar and then have this younger man and all this stuff you know what i mean that's a big goal like they're lofty dreams you know what yeah. i mean and you know i don't grandpa just wanted to do drugs so i'm not really sure what that was but you know well, i think <laughs> but, and i think that's where like grandpa already kind of lived his yeah he lived it. he's like I'm he cool. lived his days yeah um <laughs> but you know and then i guess it it is because it's like okay so everyone here is failing at something, you know, um, because it's, and I guess what they've kind of portrayed for um, Tony Collette's character was um, that like she's in a, a second unhappy relationship, essentially, like, you know, so yeah, they're. I guess maybe perfect marriage. That's what they're trying to parallel. But like that, like, but all those are really, again, lofty goals in the first place. So it's like, she just went and did it. She had fun. If she had fun. Yeah. That's all that matters. You know? So. So. I like it. Yeah. Whole group of weirdos being okay with being weirdos. Why not? (laughs) All right. We're all weird. (laughs) Well, thanks for watching with us, guys. And we will catch you on the next one. Bye. See ya.